Hello, my name is Celia and welcome back. Today we are doing the video that in last week's video I promised and that is a walkthrough of some art. And I decided just show them all the art Celia, don't just focus on that one wall. So we're actually going to start over here on the bookshelf. This is also a precursor to a how to style a bookshelf video that we're working on because Styling a bookshelf can be difficult, and as you can see, we've got a lot of books and a lot of stuff living on this bookshelf. So that will be coming your way soon, but that's not why you're here today. You're here to talk about art, so let's do that. I always forget to say at the beginning of videos, but all links will be down in the description. If I can link to the artist, whether it be their Instagram handle or a website, it all will be down in the description. So the first thing that you see on this bookshelf is this portrait of Sean that I had an artist paint for us for Christmas 2018. She was so lovely. I worked with her um, via Instagram and just sent her a couple of pictures. She sketched it up, painted it, and it was such an affordable piece, but I love it so much. Like it looks exactly like Sean. I love that piece so much. So then right behind this picture of Sean, there is, that you can't really see, it's been hidden by a plant, this portrait of me <laughs> that I had taken by a photographer on the streets in New York City. It's a tin type photo, which means he kind of uses one of those kind of old school camera kind of things. Again, I'll link everything down in the description. But those two live on the bookshelf. One other one that I wanted to point out is this postcard in this like acrylic frame. This is actually a photograph taken by a photographer who had a postcard book that I purchased. And this one, because it's an old New York City um, subway photo and it says no, no admittance. And then the little boy is wearing a shirt that says Kingdom of, Kingdom of God. So it's just like a really, interesting photo but instead of buying one large photo from this photographer I bought a book of postcards because that's an easy way to get art from an artist that you like without spending a whole bunch of money and they're easy to frame because they're a perfect size so that's it for the bookshelf let's move and those are only two pieces you're talking about you're gonna talk about that Oh yeah, wait, I want to talk about this. Okay. Another piece I wanted to talk about on the bookshelf is this Harry A. This is another postcard that I have framed. This came from a museum store. I'm not sure if it was the Met, I'm, I'm sure it would say on the back, or a museum um, internationally, like the Tate. It might have been from the Tate in London. But anyway, muse the point is that museum stores are another great place to get postcards or posters that you can then frame in your home. It not only is it a great souvenir when you are visiting a museum, especially if that museum is not in the place where you live, but it also is a way that you can decorate your home affordably. So I'm pretty sure this is from um, the Tate in London. This photograph is actually pretty old. <laughs> um, it is of a homeless man in London, he's sitting on like a statue and, and the cardboard box that he's holding says, ninjas killed my family, need money for kung fu lessons. And then like there's little drawings of like different smiley faces. I think I bought this on the street also in London. I did an internship there right after college and I'm pretty sure I bought this on the street there. But like again, street art, some photographer took this man's picture. I'm sure it was affordable. This frame I think came from Target. Like postcards, street art, really inexpensive ways to support an artist, reaching out to someone on Instagram, easy ways to support an artist and it's not really that expensive. And I have another one down here that actually the frame broke when I was moving the last time. But this is also from a photographer that I think I got this at Artists and Fleas. Um, it came in this frame and had, it used to have glass over it, but the glass broke. But I still like it. I'm going to reframe it up, but for right now it's just kind of hiding back there. But again, another way it supports a small business, supports an artist, 
and expensive ways to get art. So the last piece over here is this cute little framed picture that says this is a dog and it's a drawing of a dog. Sean actually bought this at a kid's art fair and it's just like this kooky kind of piece that lives in this like very traditional frame that we just have up here that, <laughs> yeah kooky things whether your friends are drawing them your kids are drawing them your nieces or nephews whomever they add a whimsical touch when you're trying to find art for your home all right now here we are at the wall that you guys all just saw in last week's um dining room makeover video so if you haven't seen that video i will be sure to link it here and down in the description so you can see how we got to this beautiful wall but let's do a quick run through of what is on the wall so this piece here if you watched my where did I go Cape Town Cape Town Hall this piece is actually a print that I bought back from Cape Town it's from a store called abode I will try and find the artist and link her below but I think threw the paper away but Picking up prints when you are on vacation, whether it be abroad in like Cape Town or whether domestically in like uh, Arizona or New York or whatever, picking up uh, prints is again an inexpensive way to both remember the trip and have something to put on your wall. This is just a frame from Michaels. It wasn't an expensive framing job either. Um, but yeah. Oh, this picture I did have to get a custom mat made for and I will be sure to link the Etsy store that I used to get that mat. The mat was very inexpensive. I told them exactly how wide I wanted the opening to be and what size frame I plan to put the art in. Keep in mind when you're buying art, if you are buying things internationally like prints, like a little pickup from a, a store, that oftentimes the sizing of their paper will be different from us here here in America so getting a custom mat will probably be a quicker and easier fix to framing that art as opposed to getting a custom frame so that is what I decided to do with this piece so above that um, in the poster frame is a photograph that I actually picked up in Iceland we went to Iceland also as a work trip but it was before I was filming videos so there is no um, vlog or haul from Iceland but this situation is the same I was walking down the street ran into a photography store like this guy's like oh yeah I'll take most of the photos in here and he sells the prints picked it up I think it was $20 and then just put it in a very inexpensive poster frame so that is a quick and dirty way to a add some dimension to your wall so that everything isn't in a frame and B pick up again some art and support a photographer so this larger piece here behind um, the lamp is just in a large river frame and it is actually a piece from Amanda Seals. Everyone's favorite um, funny girl used to, and I'm sure she still does art, um, she just probably doesn't sell it anymore, but maybe back in 2015, 13 she was selling art at hair rules which is a salon here in like a holiday shop and a friend and i went and we both picked up art prints and this is the one that i got so this is from amanda seals uh, ikea river frames are great they're very inexpensive but because ikea isn't a u.s company it can be hard to find frames with that comes with the mat that work for your artwork if you purchase their artwork in america but they are great options for framing above it is a set it off print because i love the movie set it off that sean got for me i said for my birthday but he corrected me excuse me it was for christmas um that is just in a michael's frame above that is a canvas that we actually picked up during our trip to miami we were in little havana stumbled across a store selling art and decided to pick that one up so next to this larger one and in between the mirror this is a snowy day stamp snowy day is a classic children's story but we actually picked up this already framed with the snowy day um, from ooh, what's that museum called the national african-american history and cultural museum in washington dc 
Again, museum stores, excellent place to get art. Right next to it is, if you watched our Morocco haul, you will remember this little piece was an extra piece of tile from um, the guy we bought tile from that he gave us because I feel like he feels like he knew he scammed us a little bit and that was his way of like making us feel better about it. Um, so I just used uh, command strips on the back of this to stick that to the wall. I love to gallery walls adding things that are not framed art and I thought that was a great way to use that little piece. Right above that, Martin. Jerome, oh Mac, from way back, original player from the Himalayas. If you know, you know. This is from an artist called X Pain. I got that on Society Six. Artists can offer their work for sale in many different platforms or in many different mediums on Society Six frames, wallpaper, tapestries, they're always expanding that. I'm not sure if he's still on Society6, but I will try and find something and it will be linked in the description below. Above him is actually a vintage advertisement from a ladies home journal. I think it was from 19, from 1925. It is wildly racist, but an important part of African American history. So when I picked it up, I thought this will be a thing that I, I just, I need to have this, you know? It, I, as a black woman in America, I need this representation of black women, black women in America. I picked that up at a, another little local, we're selling art kind of things. Um, and the guy who sells them, he doesn't have an Instagram, I've looked for him multiple times, but he sells a lot of cool stuff if you're in Harlem and stumble across him. Next to that are some beads that again, we picked up in Morocco. Again, if you watch that haul, then you've already seen them. And like I said, adding non-framed art to a gallery wall just makes it that much more interesting. Right next to the beads is a piece by Brooklyn Dolly. She is an artist living here in New York City. She's in Brooklyn. A lot of her work is very female focused and uses very bright colors. I'm a big fan of her work. I also have a candle by her that has another one of her works um, that I'll, I'll insert a little b-roll of it as well. Um, big fan of hers. I've had that for years. It's also in an Ikea river frame. Down here, I have this mask that hung in my childhood apartment for years and years and years, and my mom has a set of three. They were in the basement, and one day when I was at my mom's house, I was like, why don't I have one of these? And I just took one. <laughs> and again, non-frameable art. The basket is actually for sale via my shop, Sticky Icky, which is always linked in the description of every single video. Next to them is one of my favorites. This Michael Jackson print of his costume from The Wiz. I am sad to say that I will not be able to link this because it's actually a vintage poster that I picked up from Chisholm Larson Gallery here in New York City. They do have an online store. I talked about them in Evelyn's makeover. I got a couple of pieces from them for her space as well. Um, I only have two of the set because money don't grow on trees, but I, I love this so much. Like The Wiz is one of my like all time favorite movies. Everybody who knows me knows if we're watching The Wiz, I'm singing every song. I'm saying all the words. So I love this piece so 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 much a couple of you in that dining room makeover video in the comments asked specifically about this piece and i'm sorry i won't be able to link it but i know it's for sale other places but yes that's what that is right above it is a piece from black market vintage they are a couple who own a vintage store that is based in brooklyn but they also have an online shop where they specialize in vintage pieces focusing on the black experience in America and not just the black experience because they also have a lot of Nigerian and African pieces but I am a huge fan of black market vintage we actually have a couple pieces in the house we also have a doll and uh, the tapestry and a poster I will insert b-roll of all of, well we'll show you the, the tapestry because it's a part of our 
art walkthrough, but I'll insert B-roll of the things that aren't a part of this video, but love them. This piece is from them and it just looks like a playing card, but since it's brown and she just adds some really cool texture. Uh, so yeah, that's from Black Market Vintage. Okay, next to the queen is this photograph from Ashley Johnson. If you follow me and you've been watching videos, you've heard me talk about Ashley before. I actually gave away a series of her prints uh, in a giveaway video that we hosted. Big fan of her work. Again, a lot of her work focuses on black women. She actually though just did a series on black men, but she, as a creative all around, I am such a huge fan of Ashley's. She always has the most interesting Instagram stories, so I will be sure to link both her shop and her Instagram. Highly recommend following her on Instagram. Um, so this is a print from her. This I did have custom framed uh, a frame bridge. It's a floating mount so that you can see the entire piece and her little signature is there as well. So big fan of that. And I'm a big fan of frame bridge because um, they, it was an excellent service and it was pretty affordable. This piece here is a painting by a friend of mine. Her name is, well, she's obviously an artist as well. She's an artist and illustrator. Her name is Katie Smale. She used to live here in Brooklyn, well not here in Brooklyn. She used to live here in New York in Brooklyn, but recently relocated to the UK, but is also still making and selling art. She actually is selling prints um, that will She's donating proceeds to some COVID something, I think. I'll check, I'll link her Instagram down below. But Katie Smell painted this and actually gave it to me as a birthday gift. Thank you, Katie. And eventually I will get her custom framed as well because she is an original painting, but money constraints dictate that she's currently in a Michaels frame. And last but not least on this wall, we have these stamps that are Thaddeus, what's his name? Nevadius. Nevadius, AKA Future. These stamps, I don't know, Sean, Sean, these are stamps that Sean got. Sean, Sean where did you get these stamps from? Uh, an old coworker at Bebo. Sean used to work at Bebo, an old coworker gave him these stamps. A friend, of, a friend of mine gave me this frame and they don't fit exactly in the frame, but they fit just enough. And I thought it was a cool addition to this wall. The USPS often does special edition stamps and they are a great way to add some visual interest to your home and support the USPS. There is one piece that is not art on the wall that I did want to talk about um, because it is a piece of art and it is this bowl. It lives on the buffet here and it is by Susan Sullivan Ceramics. I am such a big fan <laughs> of Susan Sullivan Ceramics and Sean got this bowl for me for Christmas. He whispers from behind the camera. Um, it's holding a couple of things right now, but what it will mostly hold is wine corks. Why do people say wine corks? I have no idea, but we do. But this bowl is, she just does amazing handmade work. I also am using knobs made by her on the white wardrobe that lives in this dining room space that I picked up from Anthropology because sometimes she sells her work there. We also have a incense holder from her as well. I'll be sure to insert all of this little B-roll, but she is a fantastic ceramic artist and I just wanted to mention her here. So then lastly in the living room is this piece that hangs over on the wall next to the wardrobe. And this is actually a poster that I picked up while in Cuba and had custom framed with Michael's framing as well. Very big shout out to Michael's Framing. It's a lovely experience, although it can get a little expensive, but when they are having that 70% off sale, highly recommend if you want to go in and see what your framing job will look like. In this space where we take our shoes off and put our shoes on, we also have this tapestry that we also picked up from Black Market Vintage. Um, I don't know the story on it. I just, we they had a stoop sale before they opened their store we were attracted to it. It's very similar. I don't know if I have a picture, but when we went to Morocco, we stayed in a Riyadh in between the desert and Marrakesh. And this Riyadh had a tapestry hanging above the bed that looked so similar to this that when we were fresh off of that trip, we saw it and we were like, oh my God, that's just like that tapestry in Morocco. We have to have it 
and so this isn't from Morocco, well, maybe it is, I don't know, but it reminded us, reminded us of that, so that's why we picked that one up. And finally, we are in the bedroom. If you follow me on Instagram, then I posted about making this space just nicer while we wait for the quarantine to be over and we can have someone come in and put our PAX wardrobe in this space. But in the meantime, we can't live with it looking sad. So I threw a couple of frames up here along with some plants because plants and art fix anything. So let's just quickly run through it. The first up is the brother or sister print to the Michael Jackson, the Wiz that is in the dining room. And this is the Nipsey Russell version. He played the Tin Man. Again, one of my favorite costumes because the prints are about the costumes. So I'm really happy with the two that I have. This next one, Sean picked up because it was a perfect representation of the two of us. It's sneakers and it's plants. And this is by Drake Serial. Um, really cool print. We just threw it in a Michaels frames, these Michaels frames guys. Um, and it had been in the first version of our dining room makeover, but it just didn't make the cut this second time. So it will find a home, but right now it's living here. This print living here was also in our our first version of the dining room makeover it's a poster that i also picked up in cuba in cuba there's this like random square where everybody's selling vintage books and movie posters i have no idea what this movie is i've never heard of it but i liked the colors it was really inexpensive so i picked it up threw it in an ikea poster frame and here it is on top of the chest of drawers here we have a frame picture this is sean's mom isn't she cute and then behind that's also in the same michael's frame but just with a different mat so if we can do the same frames but you can mat them and suddenly they work for something else and then behind her is a frame from ikea with some museum wrapping paper that we got in cuba there's a wasn't Cuba it was Morocco in Morocco there is a YSL museum and we bought a print there again if you saw it in our Morocco video and I said in that video that we kept the wrapping paper because we thought it might be cool to frame and it is it's not in there perfectly don't judge it right I just kind of threw it in there one day while I was watching TV and thought it looked cool but yeah so that is what those things are so that concludes our little mini art tour as it stands right now. We haven't yet touched the living room, the bathroom, or this room in any permanent way. So there is more art that we didn't share this go around, but once they find permanent homes, we will be sure to do that. Down in the description, I will be sure to link my favorite frames from Michaels. They're often on sale. If you know of any ways to get custom frames or another source for inexpensive frames, please be sure to share them with me and the other viewers down in the comments below. If you yourself are an artist or you know of any artists that we can support, also leave them down in the comments below. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching. If you have any questions, please also leave them in the comments below. Leave everything in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.